Feeling better celebration pants. Hey, gingerbread. <laughs> the boots match too. That's yeah, cool. wiggle it. <laughs> <laughs> Losing weight, it's not just a physical thing. It's here and it's here. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up. So Kyle and I have been sick for the past, on and off for the past four weeks. Throughout those four weeks, we got stomach flu, we got viruses, <laughs> we got all kinds of things. And in between that, we also had obstacles thrown in. For example, one weekend, we discovered we had a flat tire and in Canada, it's winter tire season. No service place can take you on the fly. Um, so all the places we called wanted us to drive on a donut for a month. And, and we said, we eat donuts, <laughs> we don't drive on them, man. Yeah, especially not for four weeks. So after we dealt with that, the next weekend, I had the stomach flu. I had to leave work early because I was throwing up. The next morning, we woke up and a pipe burst in our house. We had a flood in our basement, we had to turn the water off, and I was panicking. It was also cheat day. I was panicking. If I had to throw up, what was I gonna do with no water? We're both <laughs> sick. We have a flood. We have a mystery pipe burst. I am full of sweat because I have the stomach flu. I'm panicking like, am I gonna have to go puke outside? Like, what am, where am I gonna throw up with no water? <laughs> and then we were contemplating, well, we need to shower. Are we gonna have to shower outside in a bucket? <laughs> So it's been done before let's put it that way. We've had to do it before. Yeah <laughs> so Already knowing probably wasn't eating cheat day because I was feeling gross Now having no idea what I was gonna do without water and being th and throwing up all day. We also dealt with that We wanted to do a video to share with you all of the things we've learned in the four weeks about having to let go <laughs> We suffer with severe depression and anxiety. We have all of our life. Being sick amps it up a lot. We finally looked at each other and said, what more do we need? Life is, we've asked life to help us. Uh, we've asked the universe to help us slow down our heads. What more can we get? We've just had all these signs thrown at us. We're either gonna kill ourselves with stress or we're gonna figure this out so we yeah. said enough is enough we asked the universe and this is where you kind of got to be careful what you ask for <laughs> we've we want to run our successful you know YouTube business and work and like have everything grow and we want to be able to let things go and not stress and not get not anxiety burn ourselves out. and not burn the can candle at both ends and burn ourselves out so yeah. basically when we said to each other we're ready for that all of this life stuff came crashing down all at once basically saying you you asked for it here it is so we took a different approach on the day that our flat we got a flat tire we were supposed to do Christmas shopping we still did it and that is huge for us because normally we would have went home crawled in a hole and thought that the world was ending and not be able to do anything then when we had no water it was cheat day and even though I had the stomach flu I said to Kyle you know I'm kind of hungry and I sat there and I ate pop-tarts <laughs> with our basement flooding with Kyle looking at me like what in the world is wrong with you yeah and I just said I have to eat I'm gonna pass out if I don't eat and we will deal with the leak and we did and you know what it was the best crisis situation we've ever been in because me doing that also allowed Kyle to relax it also allowed Hank to relax because he feeds off our energy I was stuck in my anxious head like in panic mode and I look over and Nicole's eating pop-tarts so you can't really be <laughs> stuck too long within an hour and a half the plumber came, the leak was fixed, and we had the rest of the day. So we basically just wanted to share with you when life is throwing stuff at you, you you can take them. We used to get mad at them and just get even more depressed. Now we realize that there's something behind the, the bad stuff. Is it really bad, we're asking ourselves now? 
why is it happening? Because what we're realizing now is that it's not actually bad. They're lessons for us and we can either learn and grow from them or we can get more depressed and keep getting more and more crap thrown at us. So we're taking those signs and we're switching it. For the first time ever, when we've been sick, we had a day yesterday where we went to the doctors, we got our prescriptions filled, and we said, we're gonna eat like sick people today. We bought bananas, rice, toast, like bread. You know, the brat diet, the bananas, rice, bread, applesauce, toast stuff. You know what Something I mean. Something like that. Um, we bought that stuff and we ate it, and soup, and crackers, and diet ginger ale, and it wasn't on a cheat day. That is huge for us. Because we get, we actually get that question a lot. What do you guys do when you're sick? Well, <laughs> we used to. We used to just push through it and get more sick and yes. drag it out longer. We used to force ourselves, sorry to interrupt you, but we used to force ourselves to eat our normal diet, do our fasted cardio, and train, and do all our other daily responsibilities sick so our answer is now that we're a little we're slightly more evolved than we were well listen to your body listen to your body and do what it can do and if you don't yeah. feel like eating your normal diet don't. don't take the rest take the break if you don't yeah. feel like training don't your body tells you what you need and we've been telling you guys this all along and we've known this all along but it's really hard for us to listen to too yeah we slip back too sometimes yeah bikes so for example this morning we both felt well enough to sort of eat our normal diet but I said even though I don't feel like training today I would like to eat a piece of toast with my eggs so I did and I didn't feel guilty about it and after I want some fruit and I'm gonna go to the store and I'm gonna eat some fruit because I'm still recovering and I think that's gonna help me feel better. So this video is about listening to your body and taking the bad stuff, but don't label it, not labeling it bad anymore, saying, why is this happening? What am I supposed to learn exactly, from Exactly, yeah. So, be gentle on yourselves, guys. Oh, yes. And we've really had to be gentle on ourselves, and it's very difficult. But if we can do it, you can do it. And we're here for you, and we're all going through this together. And even though Kyle and I have both lost 130 pounds and we've kept it off, we still have these struggles in our head all the time, you know, about what food we should and shouldn't eat during the week, what to do when we're sick. But as we figure them out, we're sharing what's worked for us with you in hopes that we can inspire you to find what works for you. We want to be as transparent as possible, show you the ups and the downs so that you don't feel alone and you don't feel like, you know, everyone you watch on YouTube is perfect because we're not. <laughs> no, we're not. And we're telling you, we're learning to listen to our bodies and it's, it's working for us. So if you're not feeling well, let your body tell you what to do. Thanks for watching. Thanks. Um, don't forget to like <laughs> and subscribe. Or what? Or what? Cool. Are you chop fancy pants of doom? Oh my god. Yeah, get yourself some gingerbread pants, friends. <laughs> we out. See you guys. <laughs> Bye guys. Thanks for watching.